This from the EBF Phillies handicap over a mile and a quarter. Stiff uphill run in the early stages here. And they're off, and Value Theory breaking out well from an outside position. Natasha, fairly prominent early, state occasion, Mira Stika. And on the near side or next to the rail is Rousse, followed by C. Speedwell. Back in the field to Scorpio, peripatetic at the back with uh, about second or third loss is Lyrical Lady. So through the first quarter mile, Rousse and State Occasion nearer the inside rail. Wider out, Natasha, very prominent with value theory. And there close up, uh, then close up is Lyrical Lady, followed by Scorpio. C Speedwell in the yellow jacket towards the inside then, followed by Miristika and Peripatetic is the back marker. Racing up the hill now and uh, on their way towards the six furlong marker and Frankie de Torre has now got across to lead on Natasha just stealing a glance away to his right to see if he had clear sailing Natasha out in front from in second place on the outside Scorpio value theory not really handling the turn now going into it state occasion is fourth followed then by lyrical lady a couple of lengths to mirror Stika. and then Rousse on the inside the red cap red sleeves peripatetic towards the back along with C Speedwell about to make the final right hand of four furlongs from the finish Natasha striding on a length and a half clear challenged now by Scorpio in second value theory then state occasion lyrical lady uh, pulled out is behind these Miristika, further back in the field, peripatetic. C Speedwell's got a pass plenty as they run down the home straight, approaching the final two furlongs and the cutaway. Natasha, Scorpio, state occasion being rousted along out wide. Miristika, far side value theory going for the far rail now. An open looking race running on from the back is Rousse as they enter the final furlong. State occasion and Miristika on the near side, far side is Rousse. Peripatetic is coming home well from the back of the field. State occasion just in front from Rousse as they race up towards the line and State Occasion seeing it out strongly and State Occasion wins. Rousse second. Value Theory on the far side might have been third. It's pretty close with Perry Patetic on the near side. Then came Mira Seeker. Rafe Beckett wins the Phillies handicap with State Occasion in the hands of Rossa Ryan. This daughter of Ifraj for the Eclipse partnership has won and has beaten Rousse into second. Good, solid run. It's tight for third. It looks like Value Theory is just edged out. Peripatetic with fifth, Miristika. Strongish looking race, consistent filly, a deserved success. And I think she can, she can do better still. Yeah, and, and she did settle better today. She was out in front in a small field last time at Newbury. And she ran well, but it probably didn't suit her because she was just over over raced a little bit out in the lead. And today she's been able to get uh, in behind one or two. She's travelled really strongly, actually, and it's a good effort from her. She's beaten an improving three-year-old in Rousse, with who's got some strong form. I think Rousse and Peripatetic have both backed up the view that that was a good race at Salisbury. Um, Peripatetic just on the back foot early, slow out of the stalls. Um, whereas State Occasion broke well, but like I say, she just tucks in behind as, as, as horses moved her outside to come forward. Yeah, uh, and she's won really pretty comfortably. Uh, the winner State Occasion and, and Rousse adopted handy early positions. Uh, value Theory eventually finds her way over to the, the rail and starts to save ground. Uh, meanwhile, Peripatetic is always in rear. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's notable how Ross Orion is looking to take back, isn't it? He doesn't want to commit. He's got the lead, but he doesn't want to commit a forward. And he allows those fillies on his outside to all come through and take ahead of him. And, and that, I think that was thoughtful, and it was, it was key to her being able to see out the race and see out the trip this afternoon that he took that move early on to just restrain her slightly and take a lead because even when she was in front through that first furlong and a half you could see she was just inclined to over race and that's exactly what State Occasion did last time at, uh, at Newbury whereas today she's uh, she's relaxed well enough to, to be powerful at the end as you say Peripatetics tried to come from a long way back we'll follow her run through again gets um, a clear run no, yeah no problem with the run yeah she's she she was very slow from the stalls wasn't she but she kind of put herself on the back foot a little bit but she's not asked for her effort until quite late in the day I don't think it still looks a little bit of a work in progress. Yeah. Let's see Rousse through. Rousse, the runner-up, is right behind the winner at this stage. You can see white cap state occasion, the red sleeves and the red cap bobbing up and down behind, just angling out for a little bit of room now. 
she gets a clear shot at it. And she's a, she, this, this is a filly, the winner, having her on, only her second try over the trip. And when you bear that in mind, she's she's open to a bit more improvement, isn't she? She obviously appreciated a, the, the, the trip today and she's found right through that final 100 yards. Rousset's run really well with every chance. I'm not sure about value theory over the trip. She's probably done enough to say she she just about stays hasn't she but she's she's run well but she's probably just up to her mark and um she's run up to her rating but she's not much better than that i don't think at this stage that's a pretty impressive performance from state occasion and you think that she she's well worth trying in something a bit better now yeah yeah i mean she's she's got the she's got a pretty consistently high level of, of handicap form anyway she keeps on producing and um, she is one of those fillies, I suppose, that when she goes uh, up in class slightly, as long as she gets a bit of a pace to aim at and she gets she gets <laughs> nice and relaxed early like she did today, then she, she could be up to um, competing in a higher grade. All right, then in she comes in the hands of Ross Orion in the colours of the Eclipse Partnership for Rafe Beckett. State occasion has won the fifth. Yeah, she's done it well, hasn't she? Quickened up nicely, having travelled strongly through the race. And uh, she wins under uh, Ross Orion for Rafe Beckett. Nice, consistent filly. And this is a nice prize to win. <laughs>